Grey seals in Cornwall are globally rare. In the UK we have 34% of the world's population of grey seals. My name is Sue Sayer and I'm the Director of Cornwall Seal Group Research Trust. During the winter season it makes no sense really to be having pups, however that's what grey seals do. Clearly this coincides with stormy weather. Over the last few years we've seen an increase in severe weather events and that's when seals will get into trouble. They will be separated from the mothers and if they're under three weeks old then they're condemned unless humans are able to intervene. Very occasionally we'll go out on a survey and we'll see a seal that's in trouble. If we do, then we call British Divers Marine Life Rescue routinely. They will go out and have a look at the pup, assess the pup. I generally ring Dan Jarvis. British Divers Marine Life Rescue has around two and a half thousand active volunteers trained around the country to respond to marine mammals in distress that are reported to our hotline. There's lots of reasons why seals might need to be rescued. It could be that seals that wash up every year just exhausted and injured from storms and that's something that is getting noticeably worse now in recent years with climate change that has been an effect on our meteorological weather patterns here in the west coast of the UK with more frequent and severe storms coming in off the Atlantic Ocean. The trend of the last five to eight years is that the storms are getting more frequent, they're getting more severe and we're getting more casualties as a result. When a seal pup's rescued, we'll take it off of the beach and pop it into a cage so we can take it to one of the nearest rehabilitation centres, which is usually in this area of the country is the Cornish Seal Sanctuary, or the next nearest place is the RSPCA Wildlife Hospital in Taunton. They spend time there being looked after and cared for by the animal care teams. Their injuries and infections will be treated. Sometimes they come in with broken jaws or broken flipper bones and the jaws can be wired up and repaired and heal up again and they can be released or an eye can be removed and they can still be released with one eye. Partial flipper amputations have also been known in the past and again the pups have been released. Grey seals are really, really tough little guys. They just seem to take whatever's thrown at them and somehow get through it. 